Hello everybody, this is Stephen Whitfield with Drilling Contractor here at the 2023 IADC World Drilling Conference in London, England. It's a conference with a roster of very important speakers and we've got one of those very important speakers with us here today, Mr. Patrick Shorn, CEO of Board Drilling. He gave a presentation on whether or not we've seen the last jackup built and I guess maybe after we listen to some of his answers to our questions, we'll see what his thoughts are on that. So we're going to talk a little bit about that topic and a few others. So Patrick, thank you so much for joining me today. Very good. You're welcome. So let's sort of talk about jackups. <laughs> let's start with uh, sort of a, a, a little bit of a broader approach here. Uh, you talked a bit about shallow water and how shallow water is going to be key as we see you know, oil and gas demand still continue to be pretty important for the sector moving forward. So what are you seeing with shallow water? Why would you say that shallow water is going to be really key? So one of the key things in that is that we see that the investment overall from our customers is increasing significantly. You have seen recently that what would be normally a client mix that a company like ours would have, let's say five, eight years ago, would have been somewhere in the order of 40% working for IOCs, 30% independents, and 30% for the national oil companies. Today, that has changed significantly. Today, I would say our most significant client group are the national oil companies. Over 75% of the ac activity is directed by them. So I think from that you can understand that this is a different group of customers, much more a long-term focus on the production, it is in many cases extremely important for the countries where they operate. So there are, I would say, in the client mix that we have, no more strategic customers to have. And that's why I think what we see today and a very strong pickup in shallow water offshore is here to stay. And it is really powered by the customers with the longest staying power. So that's why I'm very positive as to the activity that we see in the shallow water today. Now, you know, we talk about shallow water demand being key. So how does that translate to jack-up demand? How does that translate to sort of jack-up builds? Well, I think that this is one of the things that as an industry, we have been not fantastically disciplined. So therefore, during the previous upcycle, a lot of speculators entered the market and we overbuilt drill ships, jack-ups, just about anything you can think about. Because of that and the losses associated with that, I think there has been for a very long time, and you could say probably the last 10 years, no new orders for jackups. And what that does is clearly as the jackups get older and the overall age profile of the rigs are such today that over 30% of the jackups working today are already over 30 years old. And you really have to ask yourself, can we reach our 2050 type of production goals with that? The answer is obviously no. Now, on top of that, you could say, well, maybe we should just invest and this is then easily fixed. The problem is also that the shipyards that used to be building these type of units are all focused on ships at the moment. There's a tremendous amount of ships, FPSO being built. So even if you were to find capital to invest, it's very hard to actually get any meaningful number of rigs built. So I think that particularly when it comes to the shallow water and the rigs that are being used in it at the moment, you see a, a tightness that is going to be with us for a few years. And in order to get there any relief in that system, you would have to see a different type of contracting and probably still some higher day rates to actually make these investments of 250, 300 million dollars per new rig to make that worthwhile for the investors. So I'll, I'll get to the point that you make about overbuilding and upcycles in a minute here, but I want to ask a little bit about, okay, we've talked about demand, we've talked about shallow water, so what are we actually seeing with the order book? Like what are we seeing with sort of the new builds that we have? I know board drilling is definitely, this is something that you guys would know a lot about. So what are we seeing there? Why are we seeing it? And what are we going to see moving forward? So the order book that you see today is units that have been stuck at shipyards and they have been really ordered during the last upcycle, uh, have been stuck and probably abandoned in many cases. And therefore, it is a very unnatural bit of equipment sitting there. Um, today, that volume is so small 
that you would say it's around 3-4% of the overall fleet. By no means enough to deal with the type of attrition you would naturally see. Right? So I think that there is no order book to speak of. And like I said earlier, it is also very difficult to put in orders today to start a new book up. Now, on top of that, in the previous cycles, it was very easy to get a rig started. With a minimum down payment, the shipyard would finance the building of a rig during the build cycle, in most cases. Today, those type of flexibilities are not there anymore. People got burned in the past. So it is becoming much harder to actually even kickstart or be the catalyst for a new cycle. So there is a, there is a whole new different thinking that we need to have around what are the returns on the capital that we are investing. And therefore, for a drilling contractor to do that, the day rates need to be of a fairly elevated level. And you need to have contracts in hand for multiple years before you can make that type of a decision and invest today and basically support an order book of the future. OK, let's go back to a point that you made about overbuilding during an up cycle. Would you say that this is something that you know, if we, as we look to another up cycle, um, is this something that we just have to be sort of concerned about within the industry? Is this something that's inherent with an up cycle? Or is the overbuilding that you mentioned from the last up cycle something that's sort of, something that we saw with that up cycle that's sort of unique to that? Or is that something that we have to worry about moving forward? Now, the thing that has changed is in the previous cycle, a lot of speculators entered the market and a lot of speculation could be done because little, little capital was required to get a new rig ordered. Today, you cannot do that anymore. We have learned, the shipyards have learned. So therefore, there is much more payment required up front, meaning that that type of speculation can't happen again, not to that extent. So I would say that this is something that we collectively, as the industry, have learned very well. So the risk for another overbuilt to the extent as has happened in the past, I don't see that to be very big at this moment. So Patrick, thank you so much for giving us some insight on what's going on in, in the jack-up demands and the jack-up market. Um, some valuable information for the industry, so thank you for sharing it with us. Thank you. And thank you for visiting Drilling Contractor. <laughs>